guys, I'm sure you recognise what this box is by now. It's time for another Pagan Parcel from Crafting Magic. So, let's get right in here. I literally just received this. All I've done is opened it, opened the top. Whoops, Oops, what's that? Get off. Right, this is the January box for Imolk. So it's January for February. They always send them out a month ahead. And I really like that because with other boxes I've had before, they'd come out in the middle of the month for that month. And that's just really annoying. So, as usual, we've got all our correspondences and a calendar on the back. There's the information for Imolk and our box contents. And let's have a look. Ooh, I can smell flowers and soap. It smells like flowers and soap. What's this? Oh, I think that's supposed to be tied together. Ooh, that smells like... Hmm, I can't tell you what that smells like. That's what smells. This is what smells of soap. What is that? I should probably check before I start handling it, although I don't think it's... There's probably a tag for it here somewhere. I don't think it's lavender because uh, he very kindly doesn't put lavender in for me. And I noticed it says lavender bath salts. So that's bath salts. I'm guessing mine would be something different. Yes, patchouli bath salts. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> so it does actually say on the list, lavender bath salts. I get patchouli because he knows I'm allergic to lavender. Oh, they smell divine. So lovely. <laughs> very nice. Let's move the box out of the way, shall we? So we can see what we've got. Jasmine incense. That's what smells soapy. It's that and that together. Yeah, that smells like really fresh soap. That two, those two together. Oh, that's nice. That is. That jasmine is strong. Woo. What else have we got? <clears throat> Colt's foot. Oh, there's a herb I don't have. Colt's foot. Magical uses used in love sachets. Oh, for February, obviously. And for spells concerning peace and tranquility. Cool. I don't know what... To, I don't think that smells of anything particularly. Can't really tell because the jasmine is... The jasmine reeks, actually. <laughs> it's very, very strong. But it's lovely. It smells beautiful. I'm not complaining. Sunflower seeds. Big fan of sunflower seeds. I like eating sunflower seeds. Um, but you can also... <laughs> yeah, you also use them, at, especially at Imolk, for, you know, that's traditionally uh, the... When you consider planting this, your seeds because your, you know, your ground's thawing out and everything. So you start planting your seeds and bulbs. So it's traditional to put some kind of seeds on your altar for uh, Imolk. So we've got sunflower seeds. It doesn't tell me what that is. Sesame seeds. Also yummy. <laughs> I like them in a smoothie in the morning. This is blackberry leaves. Mmm, they smell nice too. Blackberry is associated with Brigid. Oh! Brigid, the goddess of healing. I wonder if that is for the Brigid cross. Okay, hang on a minute. So this is for Brigid, the goddess of healing. A poultice made from leaves is believed to soothe minor burns. Uh, magically, blackberry is used for wealth and protection, used in charm bags, floor washes, rituals concerning wealth, incense and bath, ritual baths. So that's very interesting. I've got something coming up as well on how I store my herbs. Um, because 
That's something I get asked a lot, is how do I store my herbs? Um, got candles, Imolk candles. Yellow and white for Imolk. Not scented. We've got a piece of what looks like turquoise or... Is it turquoise or turquamine? Turquam... I can never say that one. Oh, it's, it's, it's that one, yeah. Turquanite. There we go. For flexibility. Helps with aspects of travel, whether on, over land or sea. Helpful aid for planning and arranging. So, probably quite useful about now for <laughs> Mercury Retrograde. Although so far, touch wood, Mercury Retrograde not being too naughty this month. At the moment. Oh, we've got a big box here. That looks interesting. So we've got, oh, there we go, Seed Blessing Ritual for the Spring Equinox, but you can also do it around Im Imolk as well. If you're bothered by an aspect of your personality you would like to let go of, take a new potato and carve the potato with an image that represents the aspect of you. <laughs> well, that could be funny. Oh, and we've got a simple seed cake. It requires caraway seeds. Interesting. And simple cleansing and blessing ritual. Cool. I'm going to put this paper straight into my book of shadows because it absolutely reeks of jasmine. Not, not in a bad way. <laughs> it's just, this is really strong. Whoa. Uh, basic cleansing. Right, so we've got four different rituals and things there. So we've got a, a, two rituals, a recipe and a basic spell. Mm. We'll put those down there, shall I? And then we've got this big box. Ooh. Ooh. This is something I've wanted for a while. Oh, let's let's discuss this first. Make your own brigid cross. Now, there's various ways to make a brigid cross. Or you can make a straw doll that would be dressed in white. I mean, a brigid cross is basically just like that. <laughs> it's an equilateral cross. But there's no instructions. I wonder if that's just been left out. I mean, I've done this before because, you know, I, I could actually do this. I don't know if I could do it with these. I don't know if they're pliable enough. They're a bit brittle. Um, but certainly with, with pliable ones, you can do it without needing a piece of string. Those of us who were raised Catholic are probably familiar with messing about with cross, cross and reeds on Palm Sunday and everything. But for beginners, there's no introduction. It doesn't give you, doesn't give you even a picture of what the Brigid Cross is. So you would have to go and look it up. That's quite unusual. I would have thought there would be just some basic instructions with it to show you what the, the cross looks like at least. I mean I'm sure if they showed you that the cross looks like that and it's got the you know this tied around it like that then you'd probably figure it out on your own but it's unusual that there's no picture. I think they might have just omitted the picture. That's my summation because there's so much other stuff with it I would have thought that would be with it as well. Back to this box. This is one something that I've been after for a long time. But whenever I've seen them, they've either been A, ugly, B, far too big, or too small, or C, really expensive. Can you guess what it is? Can you? Can you guess? It's in two parts. And that's one part. It is a mortar and pestle. Oh, 
going to have to Let's undo this as well. There is your, oh, that's cute. Oh, it's heavy too. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's got one, two, three pentacles on it. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, and it's, it's hard. It's, it's heavy. It's heavy duty. Some, they're so light that you, when you put them down and you try and use them, they just tip over. This is like soapstone, is it? Soapstone mortar pentagram. Yeah. It's nice and... Can you hear that? It is... I'd say at least three times the weight of a mug of coffee. That's how I would describe it. So imagine a mug of coffee, three times that weight. That's how heavy it is. That's good. That's very good quality. And this will be the pestle. Oh, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Nicely roughed up on the bottom as well. Oh, this is lovely. This is really lovely. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun playing with this. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, a, a mortar and pestle is for um, crushing herbs and the resins and things like that. And uh, mixing things, grinding them into a powder. Uh, you can use these in the kitchen as well. A lot of people have them in the kitchen for grinding up uh, fresh spices and things like that. Very nice. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. That... These boxes, I think they're like, I think they're fifteen ninety five a month. That on its own would cost you more than that in most shops. So I'm really, really pleased with that. I'll lie it that way so you can see it. Wow, what a nice box. I'm very impressed. So that is the Imolk box for January. January box for February. And... Uh, yeah, like I say, the only thing I would I would say is there should be some instructions for beginners on the Brigid Cross, at least, a, a, you know, like one of these with just a picture of it just to say how to make it and what it looks like, because uh, I would imagine a lot of beginners don't know what a Brigid Cross is. But other than that, what a fabulous box. I love it. I will see you again next month with the February box for March.